science has profoundly altered the conditions of man's life, both materially and in ways of the spirit as well. It's extended the range of questions which man has a choice. A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed its usefulness to the enemy. Oppenheimer's reaction to when the first nuclear bombs were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki were mixed. There was obviously a professional pride that this project that he had masterminded had paid off. But at the same time, what he was aware of, that everything he had created was causing death on a monumental scale. it be like to spend your life doing something and to have done it and to have it more successfully you can ever imagine and then to see the consequences of it could potentially be life-changing and not if not life-destroying for everybody on the planet we've all seen exactly what nuclear weapons do the devastation we see at hiroshima and at nagasaki it, it is tiny compared to what nuclear weapons would shortly be capable of delivering nuclear armageddon you know could be imminent if there was going to be a huge nuclear arms race. If there is another world war, this civilization may go under. We need to ask ourselves whether we're doing all we can to avert that. We need, I think, to learn to understand the realities of life abroad, not so much in terms of slogans, in terms of the lives of men in our response to these realities. There is hope for peace.